Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to check out the ninth episode of Akibichan no Seirofuku. And last episode we had some talks of the the, the sports festival. <coughs> and we also had like a intense racing competition with our swim club girl, which Akibi did really well at but did not but did not win unfortunately. But the good news is she didn't actually lose her uniform because that whole bet was just, you know, just a joke, so it's it's all good. And we also had like a like the new uniform. Like I think we switched to the winter one from the summer one or, or vice versa. So yeah, pretty pretty eventful episode. Now this episode, as always with these reactions, I pretty much always start on the first frame of the episode before I before we even start the recording. And the very first frame we have is of a like bathroom floor and a hair on it, so someone's getting a haircut, I assume Akibi, and that's 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 unfortunate because I I don't like when anime characters get haircuts. It's it's not it's not one of my favorite things. So hopefully we don't go too short. But yeah, let's jump into the episode and see see how things go. So three, two, one, play. Fidget fidgets. It's definitely not gonna be. Why do you have to cut that long, beautiful hair? <laughs> Watching from a safe distance. <laughs> yeah, you really don't want to move when someone's cutting your hair. You know. Because my older brother, when he was a kid, he did that and ended up getting, you know, a little of his ear cuts when mom was cutting his hair. So yeah, you don't want to move when you're getting a haircut. Okay, that's not too short at all. Just a proper little maintaining kind of haircut, so it's all good. Far so long, guys, we can go home. I would definitely never move during a haircut because uh, I am very paranoid by nature and I, I know it can happen if you move too much with a sharp object near you. So yeah, now that I know that her hair wasn't getting cut too short, it was, it was a nice scene. But I just have been traumatized by too much, you know, character development, haircuts. An anime. Yeah, yeah, Didi. Didi was our swimming girl from last episode. We are back into it, and on the bus. Well, someone's on the bus. Not not a lot of people. Say that three times fast. Oh, there we are. Now's our chance. Ready up, Sen. No, because Sen definitely sounds better in Japanese. Gonna gonna wave, you know. Say hi. Acknowledge my presence in any way. Do I have to hug you to get you to pay attention to me? Because I'll do it. I'm of course speaking for Akimi there, if that's not clear. It's going to be a quiet bus ride. I mean, fair enough. I'll just drink more of my water. It's, it's all good. Oh, the end. Okay. So now do we get to talk? Now that your priority has been... Oh, has is finished. I just that's a model we're going to. <laughs> Hello! Right. I mean, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, good thing she was there to help. Looking good, Erika. Even got a nice, kind of nice pose going on. Yeah, definitely different being in like actual casual clothes. Very different vibe to it. <laughs> and yeah, Erika naturally admiring Erika and <clears throat> Akimi. <laughs> what, this whole thing? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, let's look at Akemi. She notices. Actually, the girlfriend notices. Gonna whip out a... Okay, a little notebook. Sorry, a shopping trip. Gotcha. I mean, they're at the mall. I mean, of course, it's a shopping trip, but... We get more context now. I feel safer already. Such a nice big mall too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, my, you know, city I live in has a mall. It's not that nice, though. <laughs> oh, wow. They get to play in a giant mushroom. Safe place to drop your kids off while you go shop. <laughs> I don't think this is what we came here for. <laughs> I can picture that. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I wouldn't mind an extended flashback of those events. Okay, there's a little bit of a hiccup there. You might have to readjust your your setup to sync up with me, but should be fine now. Lifestyle. It's not a phase, it's a lifestyle. Nice hat. So yeah, we're just basically having fun at the mall today. That's that's the plan. Oh wow. Uh, okay, it makes fire. Don't burn the place down, girls. I mean, we <laughs> I mean, we probably should, but the important thing is having fun. Seems like a plan. Fashion magazines, naturally. That is quite the coincidence. Yeah, <laughs> that's the natural flow of events. I mean, what are friends for? I've got to borrow stuff from. Yeah, I can see that.
Okay. Definitely relatable. Starting is kind of the hardest part of a lot of things. <laughs> well, yeah. Definitely true. I mean, it's possible, but you wouldn't know until you really gave it a try. Of course she found her. Ladder of Lights. Let's go on a scenic trip. Definitely are. That's not a book, that's a snack. <laughs> are those bookmarks? Yeah, they are bookmarks. So you're saying you don't want to replace it then? <laughs> what a fun day this is. You just can hang out at the mall with your friends all day. <laughs> the animation of the show is so good. I, I believe it is. <laughs> That's crazy to me. How do I, how do I hamburger? Do I stab it? <laughs> okay. Okay, gotcha. Okay. That's a pretty cool idea. I, I approve. There we go. She's figured it out. <laughs> Literally everyone watching. Watching her first time over there. <coughs> there, you, there you go. <laughs> She really is. Uh. <laughs> oh, that was a great. I think I ever got that much enjoyment slash entertainment out of somebody eating a hamburger before. I used that entire page just for one kanji. What? Did you always oh, use a bookmark? Oh no. Ah. Uh, uh, that's definitely not good. It's a big old mall with lots of people. They could be anywhere. It was a nice bookmark, too. Uh. That's the problem with the bookmark. It's thin, it's easy to fall out and get lost. Have you seen that bookmark? It's like a it's like, kind of like a rectangle. It's it's quite pretty. So is he looking too? Is he helping us out? We were having so much fun until now. This 
This is a horror anime. That's where something would come out and jump scare. This is just so clean. Didn't sound like good news. Text is so small on the phone, I can't quite read it. Nah. Yeah, it's gotta be here somewhere, but that's. hasn't really narrowed it down too much. Even if you say that. I'm pretty sure she's trying to downplay how important it is to her. Like, I understand I want to catch up for your friends, but they. We gotta do this, we gotta find it. Oh wait, was that was that it on the balloon? How the heck did it get on a balloon? How did that even... Uh, I have so many questions. I mean, it's crazy we found it, but... How? I... Oh, I'm sure. I, I mean... Is that just like a lost and found to bring it to? Japan has lost and founds, right? Oh, yeah, I was about to say, like, that's a big flaw with that plan right there, is if it got untied, it would just fly away. I didn't quite get a chance to say that until before it happened. Uh. Nice. <coughs> uh. Things bigger than a backpack. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh. And then it just flies away. Tree, can you at least catch it? I mean, it's still out of reach, but it's still better than flying away. So now we just make a tower of people to get it. Who wants to be on bottom? It'll only take two, maybe three of us. I'm hoping I'm jumping too, might be good enough. Uh, okay, here we go. I told you this was what to do. Get on, there's no time for, there's no time for hesitation. Hop on. What? <laughs> okay. That's how we're gonna play it. It's kind of like that one event in the athletic festival. I don't remember what it's called, but it's this is basically exactly that where you try to steal the headbands from people and stuff. The cavalry thing. <laughs> oh, that's the episode title. Now we know why why is why it's why it's the episode title. Now we just huh, just bounce her up. She'll grab it and we'll catch it. Okay, we're, yeah, we basically got got this, like, it's just, it's basically right there. Maybe you could take off your glasses and, like, hook it. Man, it's, like, right there. This is so close yet so far away would be so frustrating. Yeah, we're gonna jump. We're gonna toss her. <laughs> okay, we are gonna toss her. Okay, be careful. I can know I suggested it, but be careful. <laughs> the ultimate teamwork here. Okay, that was the actual send. <laughs> Get back here. Okay, we got it. And it's no dropper. Okay. Yeah, definitely could have gotten worse. <laughs> 
It really is. <laughs> no, he punished the balloon. <laughs> Very poetic. <laughs> yeah, I would, it would have been pretty upsetting if we actually couldn't get the bookmark back. That's unfortunate. Good thing we got it back before that happened. Just gonna four of us share one umbrella. That's a good question. She just like left. She played in the water. I that was half joking. It looks like she actually is. Uh Yeah, it's it's like it's like magic. <laughs> so I guess she's okay with that umbrella. <laughs> you definitely have a lot of fun with that. She really is. We're just gonna join her. I mean why not? Might as well just get wet together at this point. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to be dry all by yourself. Get out there. Of course, you know. <laughs> oh, God. They're not going to catch colds because it's an anime, but it's all good. <laughs> uh, was the flower called Hydrangea or is it something else? God. It was a nice episode up until that point. Yeah. So are we just gonna get on the bus all wet or I mean it always does eventually. Yeah, we're just all wet. So we're gonna hang our clothes up to dry or just you know go on the bus wet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god. Roll roll credits, yeah, roll credits. Ugh. Oh god, what an episode. Man, this episode in particular just nailed the friendship atmosphere. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh. Did we actually buy anything we were supposed to buy? I don't remember. Uh. Well, he's the best, like, Yashke anime I've seen in a while. Okay, that that was the ninth episode of Akibi Chando Seidoku, and it was another really good episode. We had a very focused episode this time. We had a very different like location, just pretty pretty different environment because not only not only did we pretty much spend the the whole episode at the mall, we also wore like casual clothes, you know, because you know we're not at school, so we can we can get away with that, but. Yeah, because because the uniform is kind of a you know a big part of the show. I could be per uniform is her, 
okay, I can't say it's her only, it's, you know, it's part of her uniqueness. It's like the titular, you know, uniqueness of her. But this time everyone just kind of wearing their own casual clothes on a pretty even playing field in a, in a new environment. So it was a chance for, yeah, to have a very different kind of feel, very different vibe to the, to the episode. And a chance just to be like, yeah, a lot more just looser, you know, because you're not at school. You're out, out in the wild, out in the, you know, out in town, just, just hanging out, having fun. And that's pretty much, that was pretty much the episode in a nutshell, just hanging out and having fun. Like, just, the friend interactions were like 10 out of 10 throughout the episode. Like, it felt just so natural and fun and everything. Just everyone just talking and hanging out and just, it didn't even feel like a, you know, like a scripted episode for the most part, you know, up until the, the bookmark disappeared. It just felt like just going over, going to, going to the mall, hanging out, you know, having a good time, just going to whatever you could find. Oh, making the most of it with some, you know, quick little flashback here and there of the Lockerbie at the mall with her mother and stuff, which was pretty great. But try not close eating food. <laughs> eating food. We had Eddie could like have her first experience with a hamburger, which was pretty great. I mean, that whole thing was good because she was a little bit hesitant, you know, and she took a bite of it and obviously enjoyed it. Everyone just kind of like watching her the whole time. <laughs> and man, she went full blushing at that point. It was it was great. <laughs> Uh, one of my favorite scenes. Episode, one of my favorite scenes of the episode, definitely. We have some talks of like book borrowing between Erika and our uh, glasses girl uh, Toko. I think no, that was that's who. No, yeah, so that was Us 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 Usagi Hara, which is the other girl uh, named Ko Kojo. That was her name, yeah, Kojo. Uh, yeah, so yeah, Kojo. You know, she had a little bit of focus this episode in particular, but yeah, we had the the talk of the the book borrowing. And also the the bookmark, which is pretty pretty important to her, which ended up getting lost. But luckily, we were able to find it because we did our best. Apparently, somebody found it, just tied it to a balloon, which is still a still a decision I question because it could just fly off, right? Like I know you tied it to it, but like it could get untied, it could get cut, it could get cut, you know, somehow. It could, you know, just fall out of the person's hand once they untie it to get the bookmark, which is basically what happened. So, I really do question that decision, like, was it not a lost and found to bring it to? I gotta assume a mall of all places would, would have one, right? I, I have to assume that, but I don't know. Oh, maybe the guy, maybe whoever found it was busy and just like, well, I don't really got time to walk away all the way over there, I'll just, yeah, I'll tie it here. They gotta come here eventually, it's like at the, the exit, you know, they'll, they'll find it, I'm sure. They just walked out, but, so yeah. You know, I just too much I don't know about the context, so I can't really, you know, blame them too much, whoever, whoever that was. But it almost it almost ended poorly is all I'm trying to say. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, it did lead to a pretty interesting like climatic scene of uh, the, the the bookmark getting caught in a tree and the, the team having to come together to to get it, especially because they did enter that like you know horse kind of position, uh, you know horse rider kind of position, which is very much mirrors what you would do at a, at a sports festival and yeah, it's a chance to like have a real physical form of friendship coming together for a, a specific goal you know for the benefit of one of the group and that was getting the bookmark and it was a success and nobody got hurt so pretty much a full a full positive ending really even though it would have been better if it never got stuck in the tree to begin with but that's how it went it's all good and then the dramatic like I could be catching her which was nice but you know, and that was also the scene where we got the yeah the, the title of the episode, but things were over just yet because it rained and you know everyone that's like had the the more normal reaction of getting out of the rain, talking about having an umbrella, you know what to do about the rain, you know very normal stuff. And then meanwhile they try to they they, they kind of realize hey where, where where's Akabi? What's she doing? And they just look out there and she's just running around and playing in the water like a child, just having the time of her life and. They realize, hey, that, that looks like a lot of fun. Why, why aren't we doing that? Let's go, guys. And then they did, and pretty much just, yeah, ran over to the bus stop, looking at flowers, just smiling, laughing, having a great time, and just, it was really, really pleasant to watch. That's the best way to, the best way to describe it. And then we had the, you know, the light coming out of the clouds, which, uh, you know, was a reference to the, the picture that they saw earlier, and they just all got a kick out of that. Just... Just great. Top tier friendship interactions throughout this episode. I don't really have another way to phrase that, but that's because that's that's just that's really the biggest takeaway from this ep from this episode. So oh, it bears repeating on that basis.
Uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. all I got to say on the episode. Just, it's just the change of environment, and everything was great. You know, shows that the, shows that the show you know doesn't have to take place at school all the time. You know, you you go out and still have a a good episode. And we have we've had it before, of course. You know, when Erica came over to to hang out at Alcabee's place, it was a good example of that. But this was like a non nature place, so definitely different in, in that respect. But yeah, Koju herself, obviously, we got into her and her backstory. Uh, her the writing passion and all that and wanting to you know a flashback she talked about wanting to pursue that and you know she didn't seem super confident in, in doing it you know kind of having difficulty starting and you know figuring out like a theme and stuff like that but you can tell she wants to and she should definitely give it her give it her all if she decides that's not for her afterwards you know that's that's fine too but you never want to go through life wondering what if you you gave it a try right so I wish I uh, wish the best of luck in that in that regard So yeah, good episode. You know, one of the better episodes of the other show, I would probably go as far as to say. Really enjoying this show. Hope you are too. Hope you enjoy my reaction to the episode. And I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.